anti-aircraft missile system, laser and jamming equipment, along with fighter jets on the island. He says the move threatens all nations operating in the area. We've got more on the 210 in just a moment after Sports with Wayne. The Dodgers and Cubs ended yesterday's spring training game in a 2-2 tie. Meanwhile, former Dodger closer Kenley Jansen has decided to move to the Atlanta Braves, the team he grew up watching and rooting for. L.A. faces the White Sox today at 105, live on AM570 L.A. Sports. You will hear all the Dodger action this season on AM570 L.A. Sports and in HD on the iHeart app, brought to you by Navian Tankless Water Heaters. Visit tanklessmadesimple.com. The Angels beat the Seattle Mariners 7-3. Today, the Halos play the Royals at 110. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Uh, life is... Nothing but stress these days, and uh, I'll tell you what does work, and at least helps that out, and that's getting a good night's sleep. I mean, you feel better on a good with a good night's sleep. You do better the next day. Seems to work, and this is what the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is all about. Proven quality sleep does make a difference, certainly in my uh, life, and. What you can do is customize and adjust each side of the bed to your ideal firmness. Mine, uh, my sleep number, that's what uh, your firmness level is, uh, is 100. I like a firm mattress, and I have changed it over the years with the same mattress. Today is the last day to save up to $600 on select sleep number 360 smart beds, and they're offering special financing, and you only get these beds at sleep number stores or online. The offer is subject to credit approval, minimal monthly payments required. Go to sleepnumber.com for details. And there are 30 locations in Southern California, including Temecula, Chino Hills, Montclair, Port Ranch. Visit sleepnumber.com for more information, sleepnumber.com. SoCal weather from KFI. We've got a sunny day ahead, and basically the coolest day we'll have this week with highs in the upper 60s to upper 70s. And then as the week goes on, we'll see highs probably in the low to mid 80s until the end of the week. We could see some upper 80s and even eke out a low 90. Let's check that drive on the 210 again. <laughs> Yes, indeed, if you were with us that last time around, I just want to assure you right now, the uh, very busy, always busy, westbound 210 now, 57, all the way to Pasadena, still in pretty good shape, so you should be able to stay on schedule, even eastbound's looking fine. Now, get to LAX, it's always busy on a Monday morning, that's for sure. North 405, that is a little slow, coming up from the 110 up towards the 105, and a much earlier problem at Crenshaw, that's long gone. Uh, the West 105, another busy place if you're going to the airport. The busiest section right now is definitely from the 110 over through Crenshaw again, another busy spot. And even the South 57, gosh, for, uh, from Diamond Bar into Anaheim. It's getting a little slow on the downhill side going down by the college, but all is good. Now, right now, as I speak to you, we have, uh, came off uh, the I-5 over to the 10, the Santa Monica Freeway, passing over Robertson right now. This looks pretty good. It's getting slow, a lot of volume there. But more on the 405, the West LA coming up. Don't go away. Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. Staples has your remote workspace covered with functional furniture and organizational items curated by Staples Work From Home Style Squad. This week, save up to $100 on select chairs. Offering 326, limit two, in store only. Explore solutions for your remote workspace at Staples. From Focus Features and writer-director Kenneth Branagh comes Belfast. The dad wants his toy, Belfast. What do you want? I want you and Granny to come to Where there is love, there is hope. This is the time to make a new start. The New York Times raves Belfast is cinematic and lustrous and now it's been nominated for seven academy awards including best picture of the year no other movie moves us like belfast rated pg-13 may be inappropriate for children under 13 in theaters now and on demand go with your heart college basketball oh bring me more college basketball and now the top five reasons to visit morongo number five because where else can you watch all 67 college ball games in 13 days with big screens everywhere and have this much fun? Number four. The one and only Patty LaBelle, live May 7th. Get your tickets now. Three. Fresh fruit giveaway. Get a French press and mixing frother when you earn 500 points on your rewards card. The 21st or 22nd. And the number two. It's Oasis Pool Party Time. Get access to the pool, free slot play, and a lucky hat. New charging stations, new slots, same low gas prices. RV Travel Center is now open. 
Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Less than 90 minutes from wherever you are. Morongo. Good times! Do you get sinus infections, congestion, sinus pressure and pain, sinus headaches? You may suffer with chronic sinus infections, and you're tired of the nasal sprays and antibiotics. The good news? Relief is possible. With a minimally invasive procedure done in the office of SoCal Breathe Free Sinus and Allergy Center. Do you suffer with chronic sinus infections? Set an appointment today with SoCal Breathe Free Sinus and Allergy Center. Visit SoCalBreatheFree.com. That's SoCalBreatheFree.com. Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. KFI. Jennifer, Wayne, and me. As Mayor Garcetti is going through his confirmation to become uh, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, to India, the ambassador. ambassador. ambassador Thank you. India. I started, I kept wanting to say spokesperson. No, ambassador. So here's the deal, though. A text message has just popped up. And this is from a former Garcetti spokeswoman. Her name is Anna Barr. She says she doesn't recall being sexually harassed by Rick Jacobs, the guy that apparently was harassing everybody and their uncle. It was like the worst kept secret in Garcetti's office, except to Garcetti, who claimed still he knew nothing about what was actually going on. In this text message, though, she is indicating that Jacobs wanted or th was approaching her for unwanted kisses and squeezes but that she didn't speak up because she didn't want to bring down the mayor. Hey, is it fair to say that uh, this man is never going to be confirmed as ambassador to India, See, especially if the Senate uh, is controlled by Republicans uh, come November? If it's, re if it's controlled by Republicans, I think there's a better chance. But even on this, there is still plausible deniability. She said she didn't want to bring down the mayor, so she didn't report it. There's the plausible deniability that Garcetti never knew about it because she never reported it. Yeah, but I think there's enough garbage out there uh, that it's there's enough there that some. Oh, there's plenty of the smoke. Work. No, I, enough to, smoke's a good word. Uh, that there uh, that there's just too much there where the Senate. Keep in mind, Garcetti's a liberal, mm -hmm. and he is uh, the mayor of uh, of Fruit Nutville. You know, and the Republicans don't like that. Even if it's true that he didn't know, you still can easily kick him out of contention for this nomination by saying, okay, we're, we will accept that you didn't know that your guy, Rick Jacobs, was doing this stuff. Then it means either that you ran an administration where everybody was so afraid of you that they didn't want to tell you or you are so clueless and disconnected that all of this was happening and no, you were okay. you were incapable of learning anything no, about it. Okay. So any way you slice it, he looks like a goober as far as yeah. leadership goes. Uh, I mean, there's a, a similar story, a sort of analogous story uh, at 7.30, uh, Katanji Brown-Jackson and uh, what's going to happen with her nomination hearings. For confirmation hearings. I'll share that with you. It's a very interesting set of circumstances what's going to happen not only today but starting wow. tomorrow and I think it's probably going to go into Wednesday for confirmation hearings. I'll jump into that at 7.30. A newspaper reporter uh, in Norfolk, Virginia was killed in a shooting and she was not a party to the problem that caused the shooting. There was some fight outside of a, of a bar and shooting happened and she got hit as a bystander. And the way that the newspaper learned about it 
is because she was also the person who was the breaking news person on call. So the shooting happened, and the editor said, oh, there's a shooting, and started trying to call her, hey, to, to assign her the story, and couldn't get a hold of her, because she had been killed as a bystander in that very shooting. Boy, how ironic, how oh horrible is that? God. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion made a joint statement that they will wipe out 70% of medical debt from consumer credit reports. This joint statement said medical collection debt often comes from unforeseen medical circumstances. And so they said that they want to help people focus on their financial, personal well-being. And uh, so they said starting July 1st, paid medical collection debt will no longer be included on your consumer credit report. Which makes all the sense in the world. Uh, so many people have been complaining. I've been complaining about someone gets ill, really sick. Uh, needs surgery, doesn't have medical insurance because that's too expensive. And now they're looking at a bill of $100,000 with no chance to ever pay it. And that's very different than you not paying your bills. They're not going far enough, though. They're only going to remove medical debt that the that people have eventually paid. paid off. Yeah, eventually. What about the people who can't? Isn't the issue the same? Yes. You've been saddled with unexpected insane medical debt that really doesn't speak to your credit worthiness they should be wiping all I medical agree. collections off i of agree reports. and uh yeah because and also the other side is if they're if they're wiping off the debt that's been paid why not wipe off everybody's co debt that went to collections but was been paid even if it wasn't medical debt because that's uh, th there's a better argument not to do that because if someone is in debt and it takes them three, four years to pay it off and negotiate, why would anybody loan them money based on that history and if, as if you didn't know about it? But what about people, I don't want to belabor it too much. Well, you are. There are some people who, when faced with uh, unexpected medical debt, they pay the medical debt something else instead. So they will not get any help under this concept. Okay, now Instacart is going to add a fuel surcharge to your Instacart delivery orders. 40 cents per order. Joining uh, the rideshare companies and probably before too long, almost any business that directly or indirectly involves the use of fuel. Right, is airlines. Start adding those. Happened before. Yeah. With airlines, you would pay 10 or 15 bucks more a ticket. So it's going to happen. There is no question about it. Uh, you know, welcome to the new world. Uh, price of gas today, by the way, is four dollars. I think it was eighty-six cents. Yeah, it went up what four cents yesterday. I don't have that, but I have five. Sorry, five, five. That's four. Wait, I wish five dollars eighty-six cents. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, national average four dollars twenty-seven cents, uh, which is very high nah. from a north. But compare it to California. Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. What's happening? Russia is stepping up its attacks on Ukraine's capital city. The Ukraine State Emergency Service said yesterday its shopping center in Kyiv had come under attack. Chevron has fired hundreds of workers, uh, union workers, ahead of a strike deadline at the oil refinery in San Francisco. And the, US, the United Steelworkers Union said the company laid off 500 union members Saturday, Sunday night, last night, and replaced them with non-union workers at the refinery in Richmond. What? And come on down. Actually, it'll come to you. The Price is Right is hitting the road and putting the game show on wheels. It'll make 50 stops on a coast-to-coast -to -coast tour for anyone who can't make it to the L.A. studio. That includes a stop at the Santa Monica Pier. Your SoCal weather from KFI looks like a sunny day ahead with temperatures in the upper 60s to the upper 70s. This report is brought to you by CalHope.org. Let's, from the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places like the 405. <laughs> That flies along freeway, but the 405 going through West LA in good shape. Uh, there was a problem that we just had a look at. It's northbound 405 past the Santa Monica freeway at Santa Monica Boulevard. No, a little confusion, but everything's over to the shoulder. We just had a look. Whole bunch of cars, CHP. So not a bad drive actually from LAX all the way into the San Fernando Valley. It's a little slow up to the 10, but that's about it. Santa Monica freeway looking good. Hollywood Boulevard now is shut down for the Oscars, so be aware. Coming off the Cahuenga Pass, uh, Highland's going to get busy. It always, always does. 
But again, Hollywood Boulevard shut down. They got the bleachers up right now. <laughs> Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. The more we learn about COVID-19, the more questions and worries we have. CalHope can help with free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. This report is sponsored by the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority. I-10 drivers, Operation Crash, Crash Reduction and Safe Highways. A joint effort of SBCTA, Caltrans, and the CHP will be in effect for the rest of March between Vineyard Avenue and the I-15. Slow down or get pulled over. The holy grail of home ownership is to pay off that mortgage as soon as possible. Well, I want to explain a totally different way of thinking about your home, your money. Paying off your home makes no sense. In the past few years, your home's value has increased like crazy. Home prices have gone up exponentially, and that means your home's equity has grown exponentially too. And all that value in your house is just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Money is so cheap right now, and you probably think that the money in your home is safe and investing that money is dangerous. Not necessarily true. If your home loan rate is 3% or under, you only have to make more than 3%. The problem is that paying off your home is so deeply rooted, you probably learned it from your parents. Their goal is to pay off the house, live modestly into old age, minimal expenses. Today, it is totally different. We don't have guaranteed pensions to count on anymore. Social security benefits don't let you keep your lifestyle. So your retirement is probably powered by your investment. I was talking to Mark Tice at HMS Capital about this, and I asked him, how about a 30-year loan versus a 15-year loan? He said he'd recommend a 100-year loan because he believes the goal is not to pay off your house, but put your home's money to work for you. If this way of thinking about your home, your money, your future makes sense, call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698. HMS Capital encourages you to apply with them and another lender at the same time. They're that confident they can get you the best deal. HMS Capital is the only lender I know that does that. I've done two mortgages with HMS Capital. I've known Mark for over 16 years. So call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698 or visit HMSCapital.com. That's HMSCapital.com. HMS Capital Funding is a DBA of Golden Empire Inc. MNL is ID number 2427. HMS Capital is licensed by the Department of Finance and Protection and Innovation. Under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. License number 4130. Equal housing under. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-616-1997. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-616-1997. That's 800-616-1997. Tax Relief Advocates. Real solutions for real people. Hey, it's Neil Saavedra. For over a decade, my wife and I lived with windows in our kitchen that we both hated. They were weird and kind of poorly made. About a year ago, we called American Vision Windows, and they transformed those windows into a thing of beauty. They also installed gorgeous French doors for us some years ago, brought new light and backyard access to our home. Their work is truly outstanding. I've recommended them to friends and family who were thrilled. Bill and Kathleen have such a great story. They had a horrible experience experience replacing their own windows. They started their own company. 20 years later, they continue to beautify homes like mine with personal care and attention. TSLB number 778-326. Trust the window company that I trust, that my family and friends trust. And right now, receive a 0% interest and zero payments until 2023 through March 31st. On approved credit, restrictions apply. Give them a call. American Vision Windows. Get that free estimate. 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908. Or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. 
if I didn't gamble, I probably could have retired two years ago, mm. maybe. But then what would I do if I retired? What would my day be? You'd miss all that time sneaking money out of accounts <laughs> so that your other half didn't know. The Tim Conway Jr. Show. Weeknights at 6. And also meeting the bookie at a gas station when you owed him money. That's right. On KMI. Bill Handel here on a Monday morning, March 21. Let's finish Handel on the news, Jennifer and Wayne and me. You know how a lot of times when you get food delivered now, there is a sticker on it from the restaurant so that it seals the bag shut. And I've always wondered how easy it would be if you're the delivery driver and something smells really good in the car. And you're thinking to yourself, you know, I'm just going to reach over and grab one French fry or I'm going to grab one chip. That's what happened with this guy in England. The doorbell camera caught a delivery driver eating a customer's food. According to this story, the driver popped a chip in his mouth before the customer opened the door. And then the guy, though, in the house was watching the camera as his wife opened the door. And he yells over the camera's intercom, You just ate one of my chips. You're eating my food, bro." kind of gross because there was a survey that said uh i guess people do eat their yeah, some delivery of, drivers do and, eat and, their people and a food. lot of people don't care i mean do you care if someone is eating one of your french fries yes i, I don't I do. no, 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 because because they should not be touching my food yes, okay well but if you're grabbing one it. french no, no that's why no. I, yeah but it should have it should have been tamper tamper evident packaging the moment they started yes. these widespread food yes. delivery services. Handel, would you be okay if somebody ate your pan crust sausage pizza from Domino's if they took a <laughs> slice out? I mean, you know, I, I, I want a little bit of a refund back <laughs> saying you already ate it, but yeah, I don't care. I mean, I, I don't even know if I care if I, you know, got my burger or there's a huge bite out of it. I mean, maybe yeah, that well. crosses the line. Maybe. <laughs> oh, some parents in Riverside are upset because a preschool teacher led the kids in a political chant. The chant went like this. Who's our president? Biden! What do we want to do with him? We want him out! Now, that's inappropriate for a teacher to make school kids chant that or the opposite, even yeah. if it was, who's our president Biden? What do we want to do with him? coronate him the king of the world because we love him so much it's still inappropriate so i don't know what's going to happen with this fallout but well whatever uh whatever happens on a school level uh you will see the department of justice doing a full investigation here biden administration um so disney world says it regrets a performance by this school drill team from Texas. Apparently they used American Indian stereotypes, including chants of scalp them. Disney World says that doesn't reflect the Florida resort's values. They referred to them, the performance this week by Ma in the Magic Kingdom by the Indianette drill team. Uh, they said does not reflect our core values. But here's my here's my question. Who did this vetting? They are called the Indianette drill team. But you can still have in I, I yeah, wouldn't you wonder point, though yeah, which, like, I mean, if you yeah, were Disney well, World? It's, yeah, I don't know how far Disney has to go on that. You could, that's a good argument actually. As far as of course the chanting and what happened, it's not Disney's fault. Right. Because you send in a video and you do your normal thing and they choose. Then, it. Well, yeah, you but, but that's what I was gonna say. Part. They sent an audition tape and the the routine in the audition tape was nothing like this, so I don't know if it was on like they knew in advance. Right, no, they, they were gonna advance. pull this. Oh, of course not. That's not. But it, the issue is yeah, to um, uh, Jennifer's point, call even calling the drill team the Indianettes, uh, I'm surprised that Disney let that happen. Especially when it's gone so above and beyond to fix the things in the Pirates of the Car Caribbean ride and, you know, certain things around the park so that they're, they make sure, you know, that things aren't offensive to anyone. It just seems... Especially a company like Disney with no history of any kind of racist content right. coming out of there. Oh, some schools in Colorado have said uh, there will no longer be a valedictorian. They're not going to have the person with the highest grade point average give a speech 
at graduation because it's uh, it's outdated. It's inconsistent with what we know and believe of our students, which I don't think those words mean anything. But they're not going to do it. We believe all students can learn at high levels, and learning is not a competition. See? Yeah, see, the provost uh, or the principal, whoever it is, is a high school, has to get up and do a speech. You're all very special people. Yeah. This we is believe you're so. all wonderful. We're all the same. Everybody's as good as everybody else. Your 2.2 GPA <laughs> actually is the same yes. as this kid's 4.0. Here's the thing, though. They're still going to have GPA honor cords oh, on their thing. Why? In other words, it's not like nobody will know who had a oh, higher GPA come on. and who didn't. It's just they won't have a valedictorian. So that's it, a valid, they just going to have the person give a speech? The, 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 the one thing that if you were a rational person you could rely on, I guess, to get rid of valedictorian is colleges don't look at any of that as part of admission. So I suppose you could say... Like, that you were the valedictorian doesn't matter in terms of getting into college, so why do it here if okay. it's not part of what you need? But I look at that as, then why do we have an MVP of football and basketball and baseball, and why do we have a head cheerleader, and why do mm. we have all those other things, and you better get rid of all of that, yes, too. Yes, that's the argument. We're all the same. We're all very special people. We're all equal, but some of us are more equal uh, if uh, George Orwell writes the menu. <laughs> Uh, do you want to end with a more fun one? Yeah, pick your story. Ooh. 17, is that what you're looking yes, at? Yes, of course, all 17. Right. Okay, so uh, we all remember the guy who paid over $500,000 for what was supposed to be the last football thrown by Tom Brady for a touchdown before he retired. And then, of course, a week later, Tom Brady unretired. Or maybe it was 40 days later. I don't remember. It was a short time later. He unretired. Theoretically, making the value of this football not very much. Well, Brady feels bad about it. And Brady and his wife uh, own interest in a cryptocurrency company. So he said to the cryptocurrency company, Hey, could we donate a full Bitcoin to the charity of this guy's choice? It's kind of a way of saying, Hey, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, but he's thrilled with that. And then the company said, You know what, pal? We will do that, and we'll give the guy a Bitcoin right, so as well. So Here's the help. problem. Bitcoin's right about $40,000, right. and this guy paid $518,000 for this football, and I guarantee you it lost more than $40,000 in value. Yes. Uh, as oh, an economic yeah, gesture, it, it doesn't really no, help. No, it doesn't. All it, does. it is, honestly, isn't it just a promotion for the Bitcoin company? Uh, it's, oh, it's good, good But it's a good one. It's a good one. Coming up. The lies that Putin tells to justify the war. I'll share some of that information with you. This is KFI AM640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Prepare to be stimulated. KFI and KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. No way. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Ukrainian officials have rejected a Russian demand that their forces in Mariupol surrender in exchange for safe passage. The Russian military continues to fire shells and missiles into the port city. Ukrainian officials say the Russians have hit an art school with about 400 people sheltering inside. President Biden has added a stop in Poland to his trip to Europe. White House officials say Biden will first travel to Brussels, then Poland, where he will meet with NATO leaders. Poland borders Ukraine and has taken in more than 2 million refugees from the fighting. A Chinese airliner has crashed with 133 people on board in China. CCTV says a Boeing 737 operated by China Eastern Airlines crashed into a mountainside and burst into flames. The airline is based in Shanghai. The LA County Sheriff's Department says it's trying to figure out how one of its rescue helicopters crash-landed in the Angeles National Forest. Chief Jack Ewell says he can't remember the last time anything like this has ever happened. It's a uh, Super Puma Airbus uh, helicopter. Ewell's the chief of the department's Special Operations Division and says there are two other Super Puma helicopters and they'll work to fast-track the replacement of the one that crashed Saturday afternoon near Highway 39. Five deputies on board were injured. Four had been released from the hospital. The fifth could be released this week. A civilian who was also on board walked away from the crash. 
Cash. Steve Gregory, KFI News. Four teenagers have now been arrested after a 15-year-old boy was pushed into traffic in the Inland Empire. A car hit the 15-year-old boy and a skateboard was stolen. The boy is now suffering from major head and brain injuries, according to Hemet Police, and is still in the hospital. The four teens arrested are from Hemet High School. Two of them are related. It's unclear what relation, if any, they had with the 15-year-old boy. The group of teenagers allegedly got into an altercation with him prior to the boy being pushed into traffic. A GoFundMe has been set up online. The boy's aunt says that her nephew has had brain surgery since the accident and his parents are by his side every day. Andrew Caravella, KFI News. The Senate confirmation hearings for Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson will start today. ABC's Alex Prashe uh, says the 51-year-old Harvard graduate is the first black woman to be nominated to the Supreme Court. Since her nomination, the 51-year-old Harvard graduate has sat down with a bipartisan list of more than 40 senators. She's also held mock sessions with the White House ahead of today's opening remarks. Republicans are expected to question whether her work as a federal public defender could lead to her favoring criminal defendants in her rulings. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been admitted to a hospital after experiencing flu-like symptoms. He went to the hospital Friday. He's been treated with antibiotics for an infection. The court says he is expected to be released from the hospital in just a day or two. And the average price of a gallon of self-serve regular gas in L.A. County rose seven-tenths of a cent to a record $5.99. That's the 27th consecutive increase, setting a record each day. The Orange County average rose two-tenths of a cent to a record $5.95. That's the 30th consecutive increase. I'll give you the average price in California in just a minute. I'll also check your drive on the 405, but first it's sports with Wayne. The UCLA Bruins advanced to the Sweet 16 round in the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. They defeated St. Mary's 72-56 to for the right to take on North Carolina on Friday. USC is out after a 68-66 loss to the Miami Hurricanes. LeBron James returns to his old stomping grounds. The Lakers are at the Cleveland Cavaliers today at 4. On Saturday, James passed Carl Malone to take second place on the NBA's all-time scoring list, but his ability to enjoy the milestone was limited because L.A. lost to the Wizards. I can't separate the fact that um, we weren't able to get this win, you know, with me accomplishing that, because at the end of the day, you know, all I care about is wins and losses. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, by the way, still holds down the top spot of all-time scoring. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. If uh, you are looking to sell your house, uh, or maybe you've inherited a house and don't know what to do about it, uh, so what usually happens, almost always, you hire a real estate broker who comes out and says, okay, you're going to pay me 6%, and you're going to clean, paint, repair, we have gotta, we've got to sell this house. Uh, and a buyer is going to come through there, prospective buyers, you can't even be there, and your house has to be spotless. I mean, who lives that way? So let me suggest uh, contacting directbuyers.com. They'll buy the house without any of that hassle, no commission. Uh, no buyer walking through, you don't have to paint, repair, you don't have to do any of that. You can still live like a slob and sell your house for a fair price. And that's direct buyers. This is exactly what they do. Uh, they'll give you an honest, no obligation offer. They'll even get you 15000